Well, happy Tuesday, gamers, and welcome to another episode of Painting Happy Little Minis, where we paint miniatures from your favorite RPGs or board games, whatever, um, wh whatever has miniatures. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. 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 yeah for sure. We paint those things. Well done. Um, I'm Rick. <laughs> I'm Mia. And I'm Dave. And we are here today going to be painting some uh, villains. We're continuing some the villain, villains. the villainous path. Um, and these are all miniatures from the uh, WizKids line of miniatures, except for one out there. I don't think, but we're, we're not painting that one. I'm painting that one at the moment. Yeah, this one. yeah, this one. that one's uh, that's all all out. We're not doing that one. Gone. Yeah. So okay. yeah, so we're going to be painting. I haven't really decided out, out of this mess of miniatures I want to paint yet. So Johnny, which one do you think I should paint? That's amazing. <laughs> um, there's a there's something in the way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we got you know we got a knoll. I think would be a cool villain to add to a party. Got a dragonborn here. There's this uh, like ninja warrior guy here. I think there's a Gith Yankee or a Gith yeah Gith Yankee. Everybody likes a good Gith Yankee. There's a bunch of options here, but I just haven't. There's a dwarf with lightning. Rick? Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry about it. No worries, man. What? Huh? What? I was just about to ask him about Githy Yankees. Because no. Githy Yankees sounds like the craziest name <laughs> ever. But I think they were the model, they were the guys on the front of the, the Fiend Folio from the original AD and D oh. back in the day. Mm. So, ready to go. Cool. <laughs> lock, lock the door. <laughs> Huh? He's back. Jai, put my nameplate up. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey Kurt. Hey. Hi guys. How's it going? Welcome. Good. How are you? Well. <laughs> so what are you painting? I couldn't hear through the door. <laughs> Thank you. Not dead. Not oh. dead. <laughs> Not dead. Good. Hi guys. <laughs> put Kurt Pearson of Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Almost the same, same thing. Same I was gonna say basically the same thing. <laughs> so we still painting villains? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, still. Oh, great. I think this is only the uh, what week is it now? Uh, did I hear week seventeen? Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it feels like that. Seventeen out of forty-seven, right? I think so. Okay, yeah. that's good. So it's, a, it's a small percentage of the year. But oh, sure. That's cool. See, now, now you saw that I'm going to paint things pink. Damn it. Wow. Kurt's back. I can't paint in pink. I, I was going to paint things pink today, so you uh -huh. kind of stolen my thunder. It is a Githyanki. Look at that. All right, I'm going to do. Who's this character? That. Got, like, this it, it, female it, kind of pirate. Yes, looking. this is Sandra Crooked, uh, Crooked Sword. Look at that sword. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. This sword is, is just not effective at all. No, it's not. Oh. Like, that's how you poke yourself in the face. That is not the weapon to use. <laughs> I thought it was like a curved sword. No. I think it's for uh, stepping uh, around corners. Carl oh. says, he's not dead. He's not dead. <laughs> and Kat says, look how much Rick has changed in a week. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that door is locked. <laughs> <laughs> like, no joke. He's a not small gentleman, and he could press his hat. <laughs> um, all okay, right, I need to pick something to paint here. You do? Oh. So, so what are you doing? So, uh, back in town? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm back in town for, uh, for a few days, and uh, I thought uh, it's a good opportunity for me to come here real fast and hijack the show. There Excellent. we go. Sounds good. So, all right, uh, and I haven't painted very much lately. Oh, but Ooh. I know. Well, it's kind of like when you were on the show before. Yeah, I mean, painted well. <laughs> <laughs> there's painting, there's painting well, so let's be honest. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, no, I just uh, just, just want to throw some paint in my mouth here. Dave. Cool. Nice. Good to have Dave. you back. Dave? Yeah? Oh, there's oh a, my camera! I was gonna say if there's a call yeah. for him too, that would. Be I know. Great. I was like, everyone's going down. <laughs> what do you want to see? Uh, you want to move one of them? The last thing you yeah, is me good. to be the last person standing here because I'm like the least experienced. <laughs> I'm like, please don't leave me. No. This, this guy's kind of cool. Fine. Man, yeah. there's some cool stuff over here. These are all the uh, the WizKids models. All from the WizKids range. What? I'm working on a mimic. Are you really? Yeah. Last uh, last Thursday. I saw the uh, painted the the chest. Yeah, that's the one I saw. Yeah. So this one. Oh, there we go. The crazy eyes. That's and crazy now eyes. I'm painting the barrel. Is it, there's a mimic. barrel version of it? There's a barrel mimic. It's fantastic. Which is pretty cool. So, I've always been, I always underutilize the mimics in my games. I never quite use them as much as I really should have. Yeah. 
but my players are always paranoid enough. <laughs> <laughs> they are really that um, that thing that you just get to use. You can use it quite a bit. Exactly. Like In a chest. <laughs> it's like, dude, it's just a chest. You're just wasting game time now. Just go open and get your treasure. <laughs> yep. 25 minutes of staring at a chest and deciding whether or not to deal with it. Yep. Nope. But Who's got time for that, Dave? Nobody. I don't have time for that. <laughs> nobody got time for nobody that. Nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, I don't That's know cool. What to do. So how are things going in uh, Ohio? Th they're going all right. Um, yeah. I've been uh, actually going kind of back and forth between Ohio and New York, uh, helping out with some family stuff. So I've been traveling a lot. Oh, um, right. And now I'm here doing the landlord business. Ah. I'm landlording. So I got some uh, some stuff to take care of at the house here. But does that mean you're fixing stuff in houses? Are you kidding me? I can't fix anything. <laughs> no, no. I uh, I will hire the people to fix the things, <laughs> right. and or find friends that can do it. But I'm not a, I'm not a handy person. Nor can I even decide what I want to paint here. I don't know what I'm looking at. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of options. This guy's kind of crazy. He's got all sorts yeah. of. There's a couple down here as well if you want to. These like my uh, my extras, just in case I finish this. Oh, I like the extras are cool. Oh, what is this? I think I'm gonna do the Dragonborn dude here. So what's been going on here at the game trade? The game trade? At the game trade. Things and stuff. Yeah? I don't know, I've been here for the painting. Yeah, how's that going? Good. Yeah? Yeah, I think everybody says that they like me better than you. Well, no. that's, 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 that's true. That was part of the conversation. So. Why do I have to be in between? Huh? I mean, you have to make a choice between talent and humor. And, you know, sure. you know, entertainment value versus being able to slap paint on something. You know? <laughs> right. You know. You know. And so, so who's who? I don't know. In that, in that scenario. <laughs> we let people I think Mia fits both of those situations, so we just, yep. why aren't you here more? <laughs> I'm the new perspective. Like, this is, this is the uh, person that doesn't know exactly what they're doing. You're doing fine. Exactly. Oh, my God. I could have made a pink dragonborn. That would have been so cool. But you're also filming some stuff today for previews? Is that right? Yeah, I've been doing some uh, previews videos while I've been here, um, trying to fight off some jet lag. So I just um, got in yesterday from, oh, from uh, London. Uh, really? Yeah. I didn't know you went back, went back across the pond. Yeah. Awesome. I was uh, in Paris for two days, which is fun. Like whirlwind, spend one day when you haven't had like any sleep, and then you just go run around and look at everything Cool. in like a daze. Were you and hanging out with Johnny? <laughs> no, we yeah. actually just missed each other. Oh. But yeah. then I went to Disney, and so that was fun. In London? Oh, like in uh, Paris, yeah. Euro Disney? Euro Disney. There's kind of exactly the same thing. Although, I have to say, so it's in, it's in Paris, right? Yep. And so, of course, they have Ratatouille, because, you know, that's... Okay. But they, they didn't have anything Beauty and the Beast. And I was like, this is, like, literally your... Your princess. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one's yours. You claim this one. You're, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> this is the French one. Yeah, I was like, exactly. You have your own, and and you don't even showcase. That's weird. So yeah, but it was fun. Well, I suppose it's, it, it might be that sort of. Let's focus on the things in the far off lands. That's true. Because I mean, if they want to see the Beast Castle, I think just drive down the street. Right. Right. <laughs> Maybe. More or less. Up into the hills. I don't know where it is. I'm gonna, but, uh, I'm gonna model this yeah. one after Esmeralda. So is there anybody here that hasn't gone to London in the last two weeks? Oh. I didn't. I went to Canada. <laughs> Me. Oh, the London of the North. The London, <laughs> London. of the North. <laughs> Actually. Essentially. Obviously. Yeah. Well, there's London, Ontario, right? <laughs> That's not the part That's of Canada that I went to. No? No. Not the part of Canada. Oh, my favorite game, Gauntlet or Hand? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Uh, what are you gonna go with? I think we're gonna go with Gauntlet. Yeah. When all else fails. Excellent. Let's see, I've never Thank actually you for tried participating to... in a game with Gauntlet or Hand. Willie J says I have that Dragonborn Paladin one. It has the same mini. Ooh, cool. Are Show all us these, a picture. Are all these ones currently released, or are any of these? I believe yeah. they're all currently yes. released. Okay, I didn't know. It's kind of kind of weird. Like sometimes Rick just brings in a box. Yeah, that's what I'm we saying. Have to rummage through, <laughs> find out what we want. But. I'm pretty sure these are just all part of the pre-primed 
WizKid minis. Yeah. Um, mo- and these ones, some of them are, and most of them are from the D and D. The Nolzars marvelous, marvelous miniatures. Yes. Yeah. Something. Not the deep cuts. Those are the Pathfinder ones. Yeah. See, I pay attention. That's good. I'm glad you did. <laughs> uh, I just paint what he puts in front of me. <laughs> That's right, paint minion. Paint. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor. You will do what they say. This is what your your real job is. Just like <laughs> painting, a Rick. Yeah. Painting old Rick's minis. Chris says, yay, Hasty McGee is back. I mean, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Hasty McGee? Or hasty. 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 Oh. hasty with an H? Okay. Hasty. Or Tasty. Tasty McGee. Hasty. Was, tasty tasty with, oh, McGee. God. Tasty to me would get awful <laughs> awkward in here. <laughs> but I would still answer by it. I like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like how you said get awful. <laughs> Like it wasn't already. Like it wasn't already there. <laughs> yeah. Awkward. All the things that I've said. Thankfully, Kurt hasn't been watching the show. <laughs> Thankfully. Yeah, that's it. Or have I? Uh, I'm Silently being enraged. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're saving it to the end <laughs> of the show. My grudge book that I have. Just add to it. Fair enough. <laughs> June 3rd. Call me a loser. <laughs> I would never do something so crass. So crass. So let's talk about the movies Dave hasn't seen. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Incredibles 2 yesterday. Hey! hey. Oh. Can't, can't talk about that. Look at you! My daughters and uh, actually my mom and dad are in town at the moment. So oh really? I took them as well. And what did you think of the Incredibles 2? Incredibles 2. I thought it was really good. Was it incredible? Uh, I would I would go so far as to say incredible. Just, just low, was it worth the wait? Low hanging fruit, Leon. You're better than that. It Come would on. not be my first choice of superlatives, but anyway. But, but we'll go with it. Yeah. Was it worth <laughs> the wait for you? Was it worth the, the 14 year wait? <laughs> <laughs> the, the funny thing is, right at the start, like well before the movie starts, there's uh, this Craig T. Nelson, Holly Hunter, Samuel L. Jackson, all come on and say. Well, it takes a long time to get these things together. It takes a long time to write a movie and yeah. to plan it out. And oh, so they make sort of excuses thing. in the beginning. Essentially. <laughs> yep, that's exactly yeah. what it is, too. And they say, look, we, we're sorry it took 14 years, but thanks very much for your patience. No, I actually the really liked the shirts sweet. they were wearing during that. Did you see the yeah. shirts, there, the t-shirts they had? I did not pay It was just like uh, their profiles of their heads. And oh, it, was, okay. it was actually really, really cool. Yeah. Of like the characters? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Character I like heads. that. Rather than just like... Craig T. Nelson turned to the side. <laughs> Which I would buy that shirt as well. <laughs> to be honest. Fair enough. <laughs> to be honest, I would this buy that shirt true. all day. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that was, uh, that was fun. Yeah, that was cool. It's definitely good. I saw Ant-Man the day before yesterday. Uh, oh, I, I saw that. I haven't that. seen that. So, yeah. Go ahead and talk so, about the movie so, I haven't seen. So, Ant-Man. <laughs> so, scene one. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Opening <laughs> sequence. <laughs> well, sit back. <laughs> I know it's Johnny. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I think he's going to get Rick. <laughs> Pan and <Back>. two, <laughs> Ant Man. Uh, no, it was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I'm not Rick. I guess you're going. Oh, you should have this one scene. Oh, you should have seen it. I can't talk about it. No, I'm not going to do that. You're not going to do that? I'm not going to do that. I appreciate that. I'm not going to do that. Thank you. I'm not going to talk about how ridiculously awesome the end credit scene was. Or <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah. It's good stuff. It's good. good stuff. Excellent. I'm going to mess around with some different greens. So today. what's everybody out there in uh, Facebook lands working on? What are you all painting right now? Right this second. I'm Anything? curious. Anything? <laughs> Bueller. <laughs> Bueller. Bueller. No. Carl right. says it's really strange watching you guys at night. It's 9 p.m. where I am. Oh, wait. Where the deuce is that? Yeah, where is that? That's, uh, Moscow. Is he there for the World Cup? What? What? We were just talking. Well, I was. <laughs> no, it's not Moscow. <laughs> talking at is Dave. <laughs> <laughs> is it like Central Europe? Or Eastern Europe? Now he's just talking to hear himself talk. <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused. Is it North America? It Is might it be South America? Bob Sally says writing comics. And Juan Inchira says I'm currently working on some 10th Cavalry 
Calvary Buffalo Soldiers for Dracula's America. No, cool. I don't know what that is. Yes, you do. Drac Dracula's America? Yeah. Do I know that? Well, I, I, I don't think I do. Mind. Drew, put uh, put a link up to that, please, in the chat <laughs> so we can check it out afterwards. Cause I don't know what that is. Carl says, I'm in Sofia, Bulgaria for a conference. Oh, oh wow. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Pop on over to the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that's I did. A yeah, to be honest, it's probably 10 p.m., maybe 11 in Moscow. Tell us more about time zones. Sure. <laughs> What's the World Cup? <laughs> Is that well, a thing? it's where they get a really big cup. Is that, like a <laughs> is, is that a thing? It's the Wizarding. Oh, <laughs> Gryffindor. Yeah. Oh. Gryffindor. <laughs> Ten points to Gryffindor. <laughs> That's terrible. Yes. I'm actually reading The Prisoner of Azkaban at the moment okay. with my uh, my oldest daughter. Yeah. Yep. We are up to chapter seven. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Divination. Oh, stuff. Dracula's America is a Osprey game, uh, mini game, okay. according to Game Trade Media. <laughs> <laughs> according to us? Yes. <laughs> I think you're probably also fine. That's Thank you, Game Trade, trade Media. <laughs> according to Osprey, too. Uh, Lisa says, I'm going to be painting my Acerac minis. Is that how you pronounce that? Ah. Acerac mini if it comes in the mail today. Uh, if, if, if it's Aceric, that's the uh, Lich from D&D. Uh, &D. If, it's a, if it's, that's the same one. That's the one that was in the Tomb of Horrors and in the new stuff. Cool. Who's that? Who makes that mini? Is that Chaos Force 9? Or? I would imagine that's what it is. Right. Um, would be GF9. But I bet you it's pretty cool, because he's on the cover of the new one. And it looks pretty boss. Okay. Pretty cool. Should I talk about my delightful new... Wet palette. I wish you would, because I want to hear about it. Yeah, you want to hear about it? Tell me. Tell um, me more, tell me more. Tell me more. Okay. <laughs> oh, Did you get very far? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. Huh? This has turned into a musical now. <laughs> Why have we not had a musical version of this show? <laughs> the musical, well, there's plenty of reasons. Because <laughs> all of Rick's would be country. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's why. Which is nothing wrong with country, Rick. If, where, if you're listening to me from the lobby, from your phone, <laughs> nothing wrong with country. Also, uh, Lisa confirms that, yes, it's the Tomb of Horrors from Gale Force 9. Oh, oh so this is yeah. GF9. Yeah, I mm -hmm. bet you it's an awesome model then. Excellent. But yes, I uh, received my uh, where is it? Everlasting Wet Palette mm. from Redgrass Games. I backed this on Kickstarter uh, last October, and it arrived a couple of days ago, um, which is really nice. But it's basically the idea of a wet palette. Um, I'll put this aside for a sec. Everybody is, um, you have a sponge or I something like similar okay. that holds uh, water. So this is all nice and damp there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's what? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's nice and damp. <laughs> and uh, yeah, on top of it, you put uh, sheets of like, very thin parchment paper. Mm -hmm. uh, so Rather than uh, sort of the, like the cardboard pallets, yeah, having the moisture drawn out of the paint by the cardboard, uh, it keeps the, the paint hydrated. Uh, you can see this big sort of smear across the top there. That's because it traveled in the car. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? And it I, thought, I thought you were literally blending. Oh. <laughs> nope. Uh, it rolled. Sort of oh, I, I, I saw. I literally thought you were just blending and just, no. just adding color to it. No, that was uh, from from stuff from stuff I was painting this morning. Fantastic. And uh, but that's from this yeah. morning, so it goes to show you that it's still liquid. and You can still use oh, it yeah, from yeah. this morning. It's pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. So definitely good there. And there's this little piece on the side. Uh, that fits right in. There. Uh, this it snaps on with oh. Uh, magnets. Oh, sweet! Oh, so you can use that for uh, washes, that sort of thing. I want that so for you can cosplay. Control your, um, can't have cosplay up there. Kind of specifically not says for miniature, sorry, not for <laughs> <laughs> So Dave, from what you've seen with this product, what, what makes it different from the other wet palettes you've seen? Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet. I mean, because it looks, it lo I mean, number one, uh, it looks like it's a solidly built thing. Yeah. Uh, and, and the sponge below looks different, actually, from the other sponges. Um, is it consistency, consistency why it feel differently, or? Uh, I think. I, I, I gotta be honest. I'm, I'm not exactly. You know, sure. yeah, but it, it looks and feels different from like the P3 sponge. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So I'm not sure. Like, oh, yeah, like a, um, that's more like a foam rubber. Spine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah it's weird. Yeah, this is a, a sort of this is a little bit more dense. It's obviously thinner, but I think it could hold. Um, it looks like one of those sponges that, you know those sponge brushes? It looks like yeah. it's almost like a sponge from yeah, like the same so. consistency. Yeah, like I, that I think it's a little bit finer. Hold paint. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think the, the, like yeah. The, the pores are a little bit finer. Um, and here, uh, with it, I got, I went for the upgrade, I got two packs of 50. Rolling big! Yeah, so this should last me a couple of months. <laughs> it should last me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, then the, the lovely lid. Uh, Pops yeah. on, it's got the. Is that magnet as well? Or no, it's it not magnetized, okay. but it has the rubberized seal around oh, it. Oh, sweet. So yeah. you can put that on, and yeah. if you want to. I tell you, if you are moving it around, that's really cool because I've actually used uh, one in the past that did tip, and it did leak onto uh, all the rest of my parchments. Yeah, that's not. And good. they all just. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. So that's actually pretty cool. But you can slide the. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's. Slide that on like that's that. like Tupperware. There's no leaking from that. So um, Mike was asking. I missed what brand of wet palette it is. Uh, this is a a new one uh, called the Everlasting Wet Palette. From Redgrass. Uh, let me just pop the. That's a long name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you want me to well, zoom? From Redgrass. <clears throat> Where's Johnny? Yeah, she's oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh, Come on, Johnny. You can do it. Do it. There we go. Everlasting Wet Palette. So, this is the painter set, as you can see, and it's about the size of my head. And so, is that considered <laughs> extra large? No, no, there is a, um... <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> no, it was someone's question. Someone's, someone was asking. Drew, Drew was asking. No, this is what the... It's the painter set. There is a Studio XL size, which I think is double. Double the size. Double. double. So for somebody like Drew, who is painting uh, a lot of minis on commission, um, that might be the good size to go for. So... Yeah, I was very pleased to to get that and start to mess around with it. Um, as, you can see, I, as I said, I was using it this morning, painting some post-apocalyptic minis. Oh, for what? For uh, this is not a test. Uh -huh. yeah. And also for the post-apocalyptic mini section of my, uh, uh, my book. Oh, okay. very cool. So this is not a test. This that's the um, that's the Osprey one as well. Uh, no, or no, that's um, oh, last days. Yes, thank you. Last days yep. just released yep. by. Yep. Uh, it was written by Ash Barker. Ash Barker, yeah. Yeah. I haven't gotten a chance to take a gander at it yet. I haven't yet either. So hopefully soon I'll be able to get down to games and stuff, and hopefully they'll have it on the shelves. Oh, is it? It's actually in retail now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's out and available. I think it was uh, June twenty third. Okay. Thereabouts. Also, Jane says hello, Kurt. James. Yes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you missed out, James, I have uh, hijacked. Rick is in the lobby trying to get back in. <laughs> He's yep. failing miserably. Locked him out. Because that's the way I roll. That's kind of funny, really. It's pretty, <laughs> cool. it's pretty funny. He's going to be so mad. Yeah. But By maybe. the way, Dave, I went down to games and stuff for the first time before I went out on my trip to uh, London and Paris. Yeah. That was a great store. They got so many things in there. I've never. I was really impressed with it. Yeah, it's it's huge. They've got um, loads of loads of board games, role playing, all the card games you could yeah, want. Yeah, and, and a nice play area too. Huge amount of miniatures. Yeah, great play area out the back. And I tell you, what, another thing I really dig about their place is um, their painting area. How they have a dedicated area for spray uh, for uh, airbrushing. Airbrushes. Yeah. That, that's hot sauce. That that right there to me, I was like sold. I, I love it. Yep. I just wish it was my local store. <laughs> How are the local stores? Not in, phenomenal. You, not phenomenal? Not phenomenal. Nah, that's a shame. Um, well, you know what? It's, it's not that. It's that they're also distance-wise. Right. Is, uh, the closest one to me is only Magic the Gathering and, and mediocre at best. Uh, but uh, the, the good ones, and there are good ones, they're just a little bit of a hike for me. Okay. Um, there's some really good ones here in Toledo. Um, I just haven't gotten a chance to get down there. Yes. Okay. Is that um, um, the game room? Is the, that it does sound familiar. Game room in Toledo? Maybe. I'm pretty sure. Maybe that's a game room? I don't know. Also, shout out to Jordan for putting a link to the red grass game palette. 
he he put a link in the oh, description fantastic. for. Cool. Thank everyone, you very much. So. Yeah. What is the uh, retail that bad boy? I mean, that's a really good question too. <laughs> I backed it on Kickstarter. That's sad as well. You should. October last year. I have no idea. Um, I expect it's probably in the thirty-five, forty-dollar range. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Like that. When I backed it, it was in euros. So. Good times. Who uses that, times, who uses that currency now? No idea. No idea. <laughs> Sweet. Johnny, said huh? <laughs> Johnny said tourists. Huh? Johnny said tourists. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> yep. Johnny on the scene. So speaking of Kickstarters, yep. my uh, the uh, what should we call it? Uh, Song of Ice and Fire should be dropping any time now. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. excellent. I went pretty hard in that little Kickstarter. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. It was. Uh, did you get all the units? Yeah. You did everything. <laughs> and everything. then yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. They look really good. They look nice, <clears throat> and I'm for whatever reason I'm just remaining. My choice, blissfully ignorant on everything, like rules. I haven't watched, and, oh, and, and I'll yeah. tell you what, cool when you're not, they're great on Kickstarter. Like their updates are full of information and pictures and stuff. Yeah. I've purposely just ignored them because I just want to. Okay. I just I want to experience it. You want to learn it I for wanna, yourself. Yep. I mean, I'll, I'm sure I'll go back to it to see all the strategy tips and all that fun stuff. But yeah, and they're already announcing what the next factions are going to be and stuff. Yeah. Which giants with the free people. The free. Yeah. yeah the free folks are going to be awesome. The Night's Watch. Yeah. Super excited! That, uh, and I'm excited as well that they're doing that. That it's all going; those are all going through retail. Yes, yes. So, uh, build a big player base with the I core set. Exactly. And then, I think that's the difference between this and like hate, where um, that was kind of just a standalone. Where I think this is something that's going to be continuously growing. Yeah. Um, but yeah. No, it is. Uh, it's good to know that it's going to be soon. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, it it should have dropped. It should be at the distribution centers like l days ago. Yeah. And so it should be shipping out any time now. Any, so it's any moment now. So excited! I have to make sure I never leave home again. Oh. Just don't give me that when it arrives. That's it. That's all I'm saying. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Who needs to leave the house? It's overrated. What's that? It's overrated leaving the house. Leaving the house yeah, for sure. Yeah. It Agoraphobia is. by choice. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Uh, all right, but uh, but I haven't bought too much stuff. I, I actually the other thing I went into was uh, I, I bought a fair amount of the Star Wars stuff. Yeah, yeah, I bought a, bought a fair amount of that stuff. The the Legion. Yeah, yeah. My, I, I must admit I'm a little bit burned out on. I, I, I don't know why. <laughs> Six weeks of painting Legion. Tell me why. <laughs> I'm burned out. I didn't even paint any. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh gosh, another one. Uh, yes, I mean, I, I fully intend on painting the Song of Ice and Fire stuff, yep. but uh, I did not have that same intention with Star Wars. I will get to it eventually, but yep. this will trump Star Wars. I'm just super excited about it. Right. So it will remain gray plastic for <laughs> the time <laughs> right. being. But I got to play a few games. Yeah. Have you have you actually played it yet, Dave? Uh, Song of Ice and Fire. No, um, I saw, uh, yeah, Legion. Legion. Yeah, uh, I played it once. Yeah. So uh, it was good, but I think I'm, I'm kind of torn. Yeah. I think when it uh, once we get another couple of stormtrooper style units. Yes. Out, then mm -hmm. I'll have to spend a bit of time talking with a sort of dedicated Star Wars fan. Yeah. And finding out the cool units and. Markings and coloring, uh, and yeah, yes. new, uh, armor colorings and that sort of thing, to paint them. You don't want them all just to look the same. Yeah, <laughs> it's got to be well, you know, some, some, some sort of level of uniqueness there. Mike asks, "What do you all find as the best way to paint the transparent WizKid stuff?" Oh, good question. Good question. Um, Kurt. Um, from what I've used, <laughs> the, 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 the washes, washes and glazes <laughs> have been the ones that I've been using um, just to test out. And the cool thing with is what I've been doing is when I try them out, if you don't like it, you can easily wash it off pretty fast and right. wipe it off. So if you're like, oh, let's see what this, you know, you don't like it, you're gone. 
Um, you said you use the washes? Washes and okay. glazes, and the GW glazes. Okay. Um, that's what I've used. I don't know if what other glazes are out there on the market, Dave. Yeah. But uh, those are the ones that I've tried out uh, with different effects. Um, but yeah, they, they both, you're just changing the hue of the plastic. So you're, you, know, you maintain the transparency, but you're changing the color. Yeah. So what have you done, Dave? Uh, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, but I uh, haven't really haven't used the glazes, the GW glazes yet. It sticks pretty well to them. That's one of the cool yeah. things about the glazes. Is it, you know, it's it's more tacky, right. so you're able to, to kind of control it a little bit better than okay. uh, than the, the washes. That's cool. Man, right. what, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I listen to you. Yours is looking awesome. <laughs> it is. It is, it is Esmer Esmeralda. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cool. Thanks, Johnny. Bring it back. Bring it back. There we go. Oh wow! Shoot, I made her into Esmeralda. I love that. That's yeah. That's How was that? awesome. That is super that's really cool. cool. Yeah. Nice. I gave her the idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've got one of the uh, transparent pieces here. So if we oh. head back to that, and I've got a little bit of. Uh, the red tone from Army Painter. Oh, okay. The well of the, the palette there. So. Also, James agrees with you. Like he just used his was washes. Washes. For the transparent. Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah, you wouldn't want to like lose the transparency. Yeah. No. So. That would just be silly. And nobody wants to be silly. All right, I need a brush that's not miserable. <laughs> Did you bring one? Did you try <laughs> opening the... You know um, what? This doesn't look terrible. Open the what? There are some in that yellow bin that are, like, capped. Oh, they're, they're capped? Mm -hmm, they look what? like pens. No, no, not those things. Oh, you don't want those? No, okay. I don't want those. Thank you, though. But... Drama. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like he hates tips. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, pretty it's much. like he's actively against tips. Yeah. Love you, Rick. <laughs> We've talked about it a number of times. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. But you know, sometimes. <laughs> okay, so there's the... Yeah, that looks good. There's the red. All right, we just got to let that dry and come back and have a look at it once it's... So I mean, this one's a little bit easier because it's got lots of sort of runic Rip, detail. Rivers, yeah. I keep moving the, moving back and forth. <laughs> How's that look? How's that Ooh, look? Ooh, that looks nice. Just a really good. Oh, oh my there we God. go. It's, 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 it's like, uh, that? it's like Doctor Strange. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> so, cool. We'll let that dry and we'll come back to it. Actually, I'm sticking on the spinner. James Ten. says, it was one of the first things I suggested to Rick when the show started. But did he take care of his brushes? I think so, yeah. <laughs> no, we never talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> or painting, maybe painting over the transparent. <clears throat> right. Yep. Probably the maintenance. Yeah. So what are you working on personally, Dave, right now oh. in your hobby? That's a good question. That I don't Nothing. have an answer for. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing on for your personal enjoyment aside from the you said the post apocalyptic stuff. Oh, yeah. it's um, I'm basically I'm everything I'm doing at the moment is it's for the mag is uh, or, or for the book for the book. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you doing any more Lord of the Rings stuff or no? After Smog, you're like no, oh, no, Smog, no Smog, Smog burnt you? Burned me out. Oh, Come that's on, it wasn't oh, that big. <laughs> it wasn't that big. How big was small? Seen it? <laughs> it was big. Oh my god! And the wings are huge. Uh, it's <laughs> enormous. Uh, but uh, no, that was for uh, for Dave at yeah. uh, Titan. But no, most of the, basically, I'm working working towards all of the stuff for the book. Yeah, that's it's really got to be my first Focus, priority. Yeah, gotta make sure that I deliver on time. That makes sense. I don't want to be late. No. The internet, they won't forgive. <laughs> they will let you know. They will. And that's okay. And that is all right. Uh, yeah. Because it's their right. Dang it. Rick says, wait, you mean you are all serious about me taking care of the brushes? <laughs> I wasn't serious at all. 
<laughs> no, I like fishing with a fish or <laughs> painting with a fish hook. <laughs> okay. You got a fish hook there? Oh wow, mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> we paint around corners. That's right. That's awesome. I like it though. Yeah. It makes it challenging. And I like painting with a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Because miniatures isn't enough of one. No. <laughs> My eyesight. Oh. Carl says Rick is now relegated to the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be blocking him soon. <laughs> Johnny, take care of that. <laughs> oh, so there'll be no uprisings. <laughs> nice. All right. So. We are now in summer. We're in convention season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's What's your next convention, Mia? San Diego. San Diego. The big Comic one. Con? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I'm not ready. What no. are you going to be doing that at San Diego Comic Con? Uh, I'll be at the Aspen Comics booth for about an hour to a day doing some signings. Cool. Um, and then outside of that, what's okay? So what's really weird is. Um, so this year they're doing all the exclusives differently. So this year it's a uh, lottery system that you had to apply for. Oh, lovely. But because I'm going as a as part of a vendor table, mm -hmm. I'm not eligible for any of the exclusive lotteries. Oh, lovely. So so my whole waking up at like three in the morning to go stand outside in line for the Funko thing is not Gone. gonna. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. I don't like, know. Enjoy yourself. But that was, well, I mean, I found that enjoyable. Come that on. Like, that, like I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Like I love the smell of like <laughs> bomb rushing people for Funkos in the morning. Get your like adrenaline going. Right. Elbowing for Funkos. Then I get forced to take a nap like halfway during the week. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're going down for a nap. Mm. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. It's it's weird. I'm like, hmm. I, I don't have to try and you know. And do you know what uh, you're 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 cosplaying, or have you announced it yet? Or? Um. So I think I'm gonna do. I'm doing like a. It's the, these fangirl dolls versions of like the DC or Marvel characters. So uh -huh. it's um, like a uh, Captain America, but in like a fashionable like, you know, New York Fashion Week kind of dress thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm doing Lola from Aspen Comics. Uh, and then, not too sure where I'm gonna do the rest of the week. Uh, my thing is, it's gonna, probably gonna be like 100 degrees. <laughs> so right. I'm kinda like, mm, how much do I really wanna cosplay? Yep. How much do I wanna survive? Right. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, cause didn't they, was it Anime Expo that just happened there? Mm -hmm. And they said it was 120. Yeah. I'm sorry, wow. They said it was 120 degrees over in I think you should definitely do something oh, big then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, just four layers. Yes. I'll bring my Edna mode, <laughs> which I, I was, it was a brilliant idea to use like a winter puffy jacket. Yeah, that's it a, actually is, like, that is a great idea. Yeah, except until you're like in the middle of spring or summer in that thing. And, <laughs> Put me down yeah. for no. No, thank you. Yeah. That's only a uh, November through February. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a winter one. So we'll see. I'm 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 debating on how comfortable I want to be. How, yeah, San Diego. <laughs> it's it's fun. Awesome. So cool. I'm curious. Yeah. Who's uh? Who else? Oh, I was going to say who else oh, is yeah. going out. What? To oh, Johnny's going out to Comic Con. Johnny's yeah. not going to Comic Con. Oh yeah, Johnny's Damn. going no, to San Diego. No, you're not. They won't let you yeah. go to San Diego. He's going to San Diego. Yes, they're flying him all the way to San Diego. They are. It's a long way to go for a watch, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna, I was gonna ask Mia that. if she actually, if this is gonna be my first time going out there, if she has any tips. <laughs> yep, uh, yep. It's line con. Be prepared for a line for every, anything. Like, I would suggest the first day, like if there's any booths you really wanna go to, or like, just figure out which ones, and then in the mornings, just run for whatever booths you want to do first, because everything will turn into like a two hour wait for every booth. Oof. I'm sorry, did you say two hours? Yeah. That sounds fun. Which is, I mean, it, it's cool because like one that I wanted to do one year was like, um, like the alien experience where you got to be like a crew member for like, I think it was for like 
what was it, Alien Covenant, the yeah. new one that right. was coming out. <laughs> yep. And it looked really cool, and I really wanted to do it until, like, you know, if you didn't go run to it first thing in the morning, it was like a two hour line. Oh, yeah. Right. So, yeah, just know that everything is a wait. <laughs> I kind of had that experience with New York Comic Con. There was like a Jack Ryan escape room that was powered by the Alexa devices. Mm-hmm. And you had to like get through the room by saying, Alexa, do this, or whatever. <laughs> So I didn't get there as soon as the doors opened, so there was a huge line, so yeah, I obviously missed out on it. That's pretty much all of San Diego Comic Con. You're really selling it. It's like, <laughs> oh, I've never wanted to go more in my life. <laughs> no, it's really cool, but I just, I, I realized that it's like, I go for the experience and... And I've stopped trying to like wait uh, in line for things. PSA except for, like, for San Diego, <laughs> brought money. <laughs> also, uh, Kat <laughs> says it will be in the mid '80s next week. Um, uh-huh. They live there, so oh, cool. it'll is it'll it cool next off. Week? Is, is that when the kind of yeah yeah, yeah. It really? it'll cool Thursday. off? So it won't be I didn't as hot. Realize it was that soon. Holy moly! Oh, so they they said. And also, reminder: the convention center is at the beach, and we always get the beach breeze after 1 p.m. Beach breeze. Nice. Excellent. That sounds wonderful. Beach. You know where you can do get a beach breeze? Canada? Indianapolis. Oh. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Not Leona. And I think that <laughs> is going to be Kurt's next convention. Is it? Uh, potentially. Potentially? Potentially, Maybe. yes. <laughs> no? We will see. Oh, okay. I'm deciding. Deciding. Deciding? Yes. I'll decide? So, um, okay. If I want to do the con thing again. Oh. You know. (laughs) No. I don't either. (laughs) (laughs) But Kurt, you had such a pleasant room experience at your last one. (laughs) My room was fine. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a little bit worried about going to Gen Con with... uh, with whom? With the Game Trade Media crew. Oh, is that what you're going with? Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Dun, dun, Have you gotten your dun. room schedule yet? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Has it been written down yet, Johnny? No. I'm not going. You, you know the, like, the <laughs> MO here. You get a schedule like two days before it happens. Oh, yeah! So you do get it before it happens. Also, James says, Have a good day. See you, James. Go. Bye, James. Hi. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Quit worrying about it. I'm excited. You hey, should be. be. Cool. You should be. What are you going there to do? Um, uh, well. Chat, chat. Chat with ch- people. Chit, ch- chit, chat. You just gonna chit, chat? I'm gonna talk with people. Yep. So Rick's gonna have the the booth. Yep. In the Lucas Oil Stadium. Oh, is that where it's gonna be this year? I, I think he's gonna be center field. Is that right? Yeah, we're in one of the corners. In one of the corners? Like, up in the corner? Or mm-hmm. On the field? Yeah, we're in, in one corners. of the press boxes, like, in the, like, one of the corners. Okay, cool. That'll be neat. And then I'll be maybe doing some stuff down in the vendor hall. <laughs> on the floor. I on think, floor. Dave, I think that I'm, you and me are going out and doing some stuff around the floor. Okay, cool. Yeah, Excellent. recording content with different uh, booths or whatever, something like that. Sweet. You'll Sounds probably good. end up talking to people like right on the floor and being able to showcase like what they're, yeah, what yeah, they're, doing, what they're doing. See the demo games and all mm-hmm. that sort of fun stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think well, that's that sounds be, groovy. It's gonna be kind of neat. I've never done that before. You've never done that. You never hobnobbed. Oh, I've hobnobbed, but I've never interviewed while I was hobnobbing. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So, I thought you were a ma- you're a master hobnobber. <laughs> I know a lot of people. <laughs> I feel like this is going down now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> all right. Where is what? Red. Oh, there we go. Well, yeah. yeah, not all the colors are on there, so you might have to look in the bucket. Oh my goodness. Mia's gonna finish two. Come on. Two models. <laughs> two. Showing us all up. That's pretty good. That's usually like four shows for Rick. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Amazing. Rough. Taking care of me. We should have Kurt back on more often. Get things done. Yep. Son. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Give me. Right. So, yeah. So we're doing that. It's cool. And I've got uh, historic on this weekend. And you're judging there, right, or something? Or? Uh, basically, I'm doing um, coverage of the show for War Games Illustrated magazine. Oh, okay. On uh, 
Thursday and Friday, and then Saturday I'm running the painting competition. There. It'll be our sixth year. Really? Doing a painting competition at uh, Historicon. Now, how many entries do you usually get for that? Uh, we usually get about, uh, about around 100. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, we've got uh, 10 categories. Really? Including, uh, so like historical single miniature, mm -hmm. historical unit or large model. Same for sci-fi, for fantasy. Oh, they actually do have sci-fi and fantasy there. Yep. yep. And those, uh, we have a, uh, have like a Young Bloods category. Cool. Uh, which is uh, up to 16 nice. years old. I could pass for 16. You think you could no. do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think without the facial hair. That kind of gives it away there. That's no, not real anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's all tear away. Really? Yes. We should try the tear away pot. Yeah. Okay. Sandy Lawson asks, Let did you just wet your brush with your mouth, Van Gogh? Wait, I have both my ears. Who's she talking about? I don't know. Talking about me? Yes. Yes, I did. Well, maybe not wet the brush, but control the amount of moisture on the brush. Yes. There's a difference. Mm -hmm. As we stated, and we you do it love, just for the taste. Yeah. <laughs> your favorite food is paint. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. It's how can dedicated you are. Can sustain you through the years. For many Eat, people, it's sleep, a cup of and coffee. And for <laughs> Dave, it's a cup of paint. It's all about the paint. It's the, uh, Become one with the paint. Elixir of youth. It is. There we go. All At least stuff. it doesn't have lead in it anymore. Anymore. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was so glad when they took that out. Those were the fun <laughs> times to do this. <laughs> Those Did were you the notice the taste so much change? <laughs> and the taste change was immediate. <laughs> We laugh, but how many artists did go mad? <laughs> paints. Plenty. <laughs> Were they starving artists? Hmm. Hmm. They were eating the paint. They're. I don't get it. They're because they're e eating the. They're. E we get it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> bring back. <laughs> hashtag. 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 Bring back. Bring back. Bring back. Hashtag. Hashtag. Unlock the door. <laughs> <laughs> it will be back. He does not leave. So, San Diego Comic Con is next week. Yep. From the 18th to the 22nd. Right. That's cray cray. Yeah, what are we going to do, painting happy little minis wise? Uh, do I have to find me some guests? Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> How did you, you, you? I'm sure you had this conversation already, Dave. We did. Did we? <laughs> <laughs> when, did, when did we have this conversation? Good job, Dave. In the different time realm. Was it? In the quantum realm. <laughs> In the quantum realm. Okay, so we didn't have this conversation. Yeah. Okay. We did not. That's good. Well, maybe you had the conversation. You guys had the conversation with Rick. Maybe. Okay. Was it a good conversation? It was. That's good. Should David have involved? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. No need. Dave will just make it up as he goes along. Ah, uh, yes much like the rest of my life. Oh. Well, I actually thought maybe I could do the switchboard and paint on camera at the same time. <laughs> well, we can set up, like, Johnny, how much room have you got in front of you there? There you go. How much? How much? That's behind you. It would be very difficult. Yeah. Plenty, plenty of room, yeah. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I'm sure you'd be fine. Yeah, just don't spill paint on the switchboard. Is that bad? No. Is that bad if you do that? <laughs> Get paint on the switchboard? I yeah. think so. But Just color coordinate the butter, buttons. <laughs> Drew, are you still in the chat? Drew Carrington. Got <laughs> <laughs> time off? Drew, yeah, coming up? Okay, time off? Next Tuesday or Thursday? <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> NBD. We'll have to sort that out. Nah, Kurt, when do you head back? Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> he said, Kurt, when, when do you head back? <laughs> will, you, will you be in the area? Awesome. You should totally, totally go. Just, just wait. Yeah, just wait another week. Alyssa would love that. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. Again, if this was communicated, I could have switched uh, it from this week to next. I'm sorry. I blame you, Dave. Yeah, fair enough. Everybody it, else does. You left, can, no. you left to Canada, now 
It's just all gone to hell. Yep. That's what happens. He was too busy getting drunk on that maple syrup. How was the maple syrup, Dave? Uh, the maple syrup was wonderful. Oh, that does sound good. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I still feel like their money kind of smells like maple syrup. Yeah? That's just the way they sweat. <laughs> it's just in everything. It's just there. It's, just, it's made of plasticized maple syrup. So, if in, like, you're in dire circumstances, <laughs> you, can, you can lay, the, like, a $5 bill. I do like how the money's more colorful. If, it, it if you, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It is more colorful. It's very Fantastic. nice. I think I might have mentioned this on Thursday, but there's one point where a guy uh, went to give me change, and he pulls out a $10 bill, and he goes, oh, when was the last time you saw one of these? And I'm like, oh, I'm foreign, so. <laughs> yeah, put me down. <laughs> now, put now me. is the last time I saw one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently it was one of the older style of $10 bills. He's there, he's just messing with you. Yeah. This is a normal one. Stupid foreigner. That's how well, he knows, I, yeah, that's I, how I he knows to, if he's a foreigner. I needed to spend it about five minutes later, so I took it back. He was like, oh, cool, I got it back. I got to keep it. I got it back. I can't wait to tell my children. I said, yeah, th thank you for my 10 minutes of fame. Banner week. Yep. It was awesome. It sounds like that was the highlight of the trip. <laughs> no, the highlight was when uh, all sorts of things set, were set on fire. I'm sorry. There was a, <laughs> <laughs> we were staying with, uh, with my friend Terrace, who runs uh, Geek Nation Tours. Okay. In, uh, we were in Hinton, Alberta, and on the Wednesday, we sort of, we'd been out touring around the, the area, and we turned a corner, and there was like this huge cloud of smoke in the distance where there was about I said, what did they say, 500 hectares? Whatever that is in acres. Okay. It's a lot more acres. Um, we're on fire. And it's like, oh, don't worry, it's okay. It's only like 10 miles east of the, the town. And the wind's blowing, totally. blowing it away from the town. Oh, okay. So we're good. And we're set to, uh, due to leave the next morning. And overnight, a tanker truck caught on fire. No. On the road that we were going to be traveling on to head west. Are you serious? And there's only one road that goes west from there. No. <laughs> so our options were take these unpaved logging roads south or drive to Alaska and like go around the Rockies that way. They were our options. And what did you this do? This seems like the so, worst choose your own adventure I've ever heard. <laughs> that, yeah, it, it, it Somehow totally someone gets that. dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Well, we. We decided to camp out at Tim Hortons. Oh, Tim Hortons, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Good. yeah, Tim Hortons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we went. Uh, yeah, we went to Tim Hortons. Yeah, get some Tim Hortons. But no, we uh, we decided to wait. We waited for about seven hours until they uh, opened the road. And Nick were, said my house it. almost caught on fire this past Friday. Oh, boo! And in fact, my back deck did catch, and my brand new lawnmower is toast. Oh, oh no. no! Was it? Dang. Was it a lawnmower accident, or was it? No, I'm pretty uh, sure he, he's talking about the. Fires Seriously? that you're talking about. Oh, really? That's I crazy think so. Sauce. I don't think so. Any washes? Maybe not. Is it from a different fire? I, that's really bad. <laughs> yeah. Is it the same fire? I don't know. That's what I thought. You're supposed to know these things. Anymore. Come on. But there were some. Uh, but the day after it all cleared. Uh, well, no, it was still still on fire. <coughs> but there wasn't. It was it was bushland that was burning. Uh, right, it wasn't. So who cares about that except for the animals? Exactly. <laughs> Nick says, no, it was caused by a cigarette. Ah, oh, there yeah. we go. Dirty smoke. That's why you don't smoke, kids. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> Is that why? Yep. <laughs> That's the only reason, kids. Because they cause fires. Because of fires. Fire. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, smoking the bed. Damn it. Cigarettes cause forest fires. <laughs> yes. Only cigarettes cause forest fires. Also, Victor <laughs> Snyder says, hello. Hello, Victor. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. To the painting show! <laughs> <laughs> and you guys have about five minutes. You say that, that, but what if we just don't stop? <laughs> well, Johnny and Leona just get up and leave. Yeah. <laughs> like Johnny's got some place to go. Yeah. Did you say like he has? Like he has. I don't know. Dude's borderline homeless. Well, he's not wrong. <laughs> 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 Okay, so actually, can we go back to the, the spinner? 
Now that the uh, no, I'm spinning. That the wash is dried. No. Let's check that out. Almost, almost. Gonna make it. Okay, cool. So yeah, there we go. You can see the the translucent. What was transparent now translucent. So that's just a red wash. That's the red tone from Army Painter. You get a similar result with uh, the GW, GW washes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks about the same. Yep. Yeah. You might have to, you might have to thin it a little bit, right. depending on some of the stuff. The pigment is actually pretty harsh in some of those washes, but uh, you'll play around with it. Yeah. Yeah, I think colors like green and blue would be. Uh, would yeah. Be awesome for that. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. So, how is your uh, Dragonborn looking? Like? Uh, you know, base coats. I started highlighting the armor a little bit here, but uh, but he's yeah, another another day would have been done. Yeah. Another day. Another day. You another day. Put him on the spinner. I guess I'll have to be. I guess I'll have to come back tomorrow. Let's oh, put him on the spinner. Don't touch his hair though. Touch his oh, hair. Oh, sorry. Not touch his hair. <laughs> Not the hair. Not the hair. Not, oh, oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. And I'm gonna oh. put up. Where's Esmeralda. Okay. So if these are villains. What is your what is what is your storyline for Esmeralda to hear me at? Because I want to hear. She's sick and tired of everyone picking on her buddy, so now she dances people to death. To death. Bam. Yep. Oh, that, I like it. Yeah. Maybe maybe a bard uses that like yeah, to, to, exactly. to, to enthrall them, and then has to yeah. take care of business while that's, that's that could be good. That could work. And then I made kind of yeah. like a little red-headed pirate. Oh, I'll make it. Oh, let's see. Make space just by touching the hair on the. <laughs> <laughs> Only the hair. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I'm like a red-headed pirate. Not my dragonborn hair. Look at that. Two minis. Look at that. In one show. That's awesome. Not joking around. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, she dances in thralls while she goes around with the sword. Bam, bam. Exactly. Double Easy peasy. peasy. Slices dun, dun, throats. Dun. Easy peasy. Okay. So one of the things that we're going to do is uh, get everybody to vote. Anybody who's in the chat. On what? Vote on uh, which character they'd like to see Rick turn into a character. Oh, on building? Yeah. Building Kildare. character tomorrow. Oh, sorry, Friday. Friday. Yeah. Well, so, that's kind of cool. I think it Who is going to be? Is it going to be the. Um, I don't think it's going to be I the. Think the I think that her two are combined. I think, there are, I, think, I think she's got an idea here that I think is actually pretty cool. It should be a dual kind of thing because they, like the <laughs> they work together. They work together, yes. Together. <laughs> yeah. It's like sisters. Like Master Blaster. But I think Rick like should do blasters. Esmeralda, but he has to dance out all of the, uh, the scenes, yeah. all of his attacks. He has to actually dance it. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yes. Yeah, we could definitely see Rick doing Make that. an interactive show out of it. Oh, uh, Jeremy and Mike and one and Cheers say the Mimic. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're wrong, but anyway. <laughs> the Mimic villain? The, the Mimic is a terrible yeah, villain. Carl says, how can it be anything but the Mimic? I'm just saying, uh -oh. that would be a great villain to make also. Like, that would be cool. To actually make a Mimic like a central villain, like the mimic is out to actually accomplish a goal. Right. <laughs> like, I'm a barrel of beer, but I got goals. I actually really like that. <laughs> I'll be mayor of this town one day. <laughs> that's that's the goal for the mimic. I don't Become know. Mayor. No, I'm a nefarious mayor. <laughs> that, that seems a little bit like how big is this town? And like, I'm a gonna, small town is a big town. It's like Lake it's Town. A good, it's like Lake Town, but you know what? Okay, he, well, he wants, but he wants to ban drinking because he's a karaoke he a beer. Oh. No, I didn't get it. You gotta think about it. It's deep. Hmm? So he's the only one. He's the only one. He doesn't want to get drunk. He's Drew, and, uh, yeah, Drew says beer mimic has ambitions. You don't even know. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> it's true. I know. Or, or, or he's just, or he's uber violent because he's self-conscious of the way his ale tastes. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. I will be murdering everybody. Oh, don't <laughs> judge me. So is he like the leader? And he has like it's henchmen. An IPA. Too it's hoppy. I'm <laughs> too hoppy. Does he have henchmen? I'm sure the tankers. Oh my god, dude! This is totally like Beauty and the Beast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, like evil Beauty and the Beast. Actually, yeah. Nice, uh, nice circle. You brought it all the way back. All the way back. Oh. See, see that. So, if you're looking for more Beauty and the Beast stuff, <laughs> don't go to Euro Disney. Yeah. Don't. So again. Oh, these guys. <laughs> it's a tale as old as time. Don't go to Euro Disney. <laughs> you don't do it. Just don't. <laughs> that was beautifully done. Oh, oh boy. Beautifully done. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I, I guess. We'll I'm, I'm going to take pictures and then I'll post them oh. so that the people can like officially vote. Yeah. So that then it'll be up till Friday yeah. like so morning. Like if, you hit, if you hit like, it's Esmeralda. If you hit love, yeah. it's the Dragonborn. Correct. Ah, that's a good way to do it. Sad. Sad face with the Dragonborn. 
angry. Well, we're not going to do like because we found that voting sometimes gets skewed. Yeah, you can't down. use likes. It's true. Ah. Can't do it. Skewed. But yeah, whatever it is, I'll, I'll put it up so that then people have till Friday to okay. vote cool. on it. So, so yep. make sure you do that, folks. And if you want the mimic, make sure you go and vote. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Mimic. Mayor Mimic. <laughs> Mayor Mimic. Mayor Mimic. <laughs> Mayor Mimic. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Mimic. <laughs> I was thinking a beloved fast food character, but anyway. Uh, is, oh. what, what's his name without McMimic? That was McCheese. Oh, it was Mayor McCheese. And, and, the, and, and, and the Hamburglar. And mm-hmm. Yeah, all those guys. Grimace. Was Grimace. What was Grimace supposed to be? Chocolate chicken? No? Like, I don't know. What, what, he was like a purple blob. We're not going to wrap it up talking with this. Come on. Wrap it up. We're, getting, we're getting the record. Right we're on 10 minutes late. I'm sorry. I'm, what I'm, is. I'm, I'm, not hearing, I'm not hearing the music playing at all. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Okay. Johnny, I want to <laughs> Johnny, what's your take on Grimace? You mean Thanos? <laughs> Thanos? Yes. The Thanos of the 80s. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's when I grew up. Talk with shit, Um So, thank you. I, I suppose because I'm... De facto host now, right? Yeah, you are. Damn. I mean, I can't take over everything. I just true. walk in. I was kind of hoping that, that he would. <laughs> have a slacker. No, no, no. But, uh, <laughs> they, don't, they don't pay me enough. I would like to thank Mia for coming in. Thank you And paying you two miniatures. Yay! Two. Awesome. Uh, thank record. you for uh, coming back for a visit. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like the worst see. thing ever, but it turned out to be like <laughs> not, <laughs> semi not the worst thing ever. <laughs> What's the worst thing ever here? Is it like Ohio? Yeah. <laughs> Kurt coming back. <laughs> Everything else. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's that's bold. But I'm gonna go with it. Yeah, you should. You should. Uh, but yeah, so things we always run through at the end. Uh, yes. Penny Happy Little Minis. We have a Facebook group, so come along, uh, join the group. Look for yep. Be our friend. Please be our friend. And, and we'll be back again on Thursday, right? So. Mm-hmm. Thursday, uh, yeah. So yes. He, yep. he told me there was a show. He's trying to get me to maybe come back. Rick will be here on Thursday. I will not be here on Thursday. I know. You have things to do. I do. You're an important I've person. An, I have an important phone call to make. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing. <laughs> and, uh, yep, yeah, so join us in the Painting Happy Little Minis group. Uh, and also uh, head to your local... Pardon, Johnny? Support, Support your community. <laughs> Support your local community. Yes. Go yep. to your game store. There we go. There, there it is. Yes. This is your local game store. So, uh, yeah, definitely go on to your local game store. Uh, become part of the community. And shout out your game stores. You know, when you go on to, you go, go on to the groups and be like, hey, guys, was just at Blah Blah and picked up this model. Do that. They love that stuff. That's my favorite store. Blah Blah. Blah Blah. <laughs> Dude, if I open up Blah Blah Games and Hobbies, if you don't come, I'll be so mad. I will be there. Opening day. Opening day? Opening Welcome day. Welcome to Blah Blah, sir. For the, <laughs> for the peanuts and Cracker Jack. <laughs> be awesome. We should do it. Uh, cool. Yeah. So thank you very much, everybody, for listening to us. To it. Yeah, listening to us ramble. Ramble. The okay. grand fun. Hashtag Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. We're super excited to share that our new book, The Overstreet Guide to Collecting Tabletop Games, is now available. We love tabletop gaming as much as you do, and we're so thrilled to share the finished book with the community. This book covers the history of the tabletop industry, from classic board games like Monopoly to collectible card games like Magic, and of course, RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons. The book also highlights some of the top talent in the industry, featuring interviews with Peter Atkinson, Matthew Mercer, Larry Elmore, and many more. Plus, we chatted with collectors from all walks of life who shared their own knowledge and insight about tabletop collecting. We also discuss everything from the impact of crowdfunding on the current state of the industry, as well as take a look at all sorts of ways to preserve your collection for years to come. This book provides a perfect snapshot of the tabletop industry at large and shows what makes this hobby so great. You can head into your local game store or comic shop right now and pick up your copy of the Overstreet Guide to Collecting Tabletop Games. If they don't have it in stock, you can order your copy through previews, through Game Trade Magazine, or through gemstonepub.com. Thanks for watching Painting Happy Little Minis. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment below, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content.